Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. We're back. We're back. We're back in the garage. Smell of oil, smell of lubricants, and our super lube heavy duty to hand should we need it. Torvette. Okay, I thought it said Tourette's from over here. Oh, good goodness me. Um, okay, we've got this um, small hatchback in front of us. I can't remember what the job was last time. Okay, here we are. Invoice 6. Perform a test drive. Replace all damaged parts. Okay, shift gears. Sorry, shifting gears is much harder than it should be. This is probably something wrong with the clutch. Now, now, hang on, boyo. This is for me to decide. I am the mechanic after all. You are a punter. So, I will take it out and assess. Car mechanics. In me. Okay, same kind of checks. Oh, we've got all saints on the uh, on the radio. Interesting. Bit, bit jittery. Uh, if you don't know who All Saints were, they were um, a girl band from the UK in um, in the 90s. Oh my God! The... He was complaining about the brake, uh, the clutch, wasn't he? But um, it's the brakes were awful. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God! Uh, the handling's all over the place. It's like a drunk squeeze. Hey, it's arms and legs everywhere. Whoa! I drive, it's my driving skill that's keeping us going, to be honest. Whoa! Almost, oh! Almost lost on the corner then. Handbrake turn to finish. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that, Governor, whatsoever. Don't know what you're complaining about. Okay, what do you want? Uh, so, we've done test drive. Replace all damaged parts. You think it's around the clutch. Right. Oops. The clutch will be gearbox related, won't it? So this is the gearbox. I seem to remember. Yes, it is the gearbox. It says gearbox. How do we take that out? Uh, okay, we need to take these uh, axles off. Uh, we we'll probably need to take this off as well. The old starter motor. So we'll take that off. Brilliant. And can we take these off? No. Can we take these off? No. Oh, we replaced an axle earlier, didn't we? And we had to come in from the side. Uh, so let's disassemble. Take the wheel off. What have we got? We got our summer tyres. And I think that's just the uh, just declaring that they are summer tyres. It's not not the make. Uh, it's not like one of these budget, you know, Panda Woo budget tyres that you can get, or you know those kind of things. Yeah. Normally from China, I'd imagine. That's why they call Panda Wu and Tucson Wow and that, those kind of tyres. If you've never had one of those on your car, then you've never lived. Oh, you've never been a student. Uh, can I just. There we go. I just need to get that so I can see it. Right, the axles, axles are off. So let's. Can we. No. We're going to have to. Do we drop it from the top or do we need to drop it like it's hot? Oh, we can drop it from the top. Fantastic. Okay, one more bolt. Boom. And this is this should be the clutch. It is. There you go, you see? You see? Okay, there you go. That's the problem. Your clutch release bearing is um is uh is is knacked. So that that'll probably cause sticky gears or something. I don't know. I don't know, I'm guessing. Your clutch pressure plate looks fine. We'll do an inspection, yeah, that looks fine. Let's um take that off, because there's something red under it. No, take it off. Take it off! Okay. Okay, what we got here? This is the friction plate, which also looks fairly knapped as well, and we have the flywheel, which is fine. Okay, um, let's go and repair. The hell? What is this rubbish on the floor? That looks like some sort of seaweed. We've got some sort of I don't know what's that. Human skulls and um, fish. I, I have no idea what those uh, images are. Okay, gearbox, starter motor. Oh no, I didn't want to repair them. Uh, okay, we're going to have to need some um, flea bay to get uh, used car parts. Have we got any? That's what we need. We need a. No, we don't need a pressure plate. We need a friction plate. 
and a bearing release. No, he doesn't have one. Okay, let's go to shop for parts. Or car. Uh, okay. Um, what we need. Friction plate. 500. Wow. And we need a release bearing. Okay. Our 600 bucks we just spent. How much is this job worth? 1,000 bucks. Okay, we're charging them 400 pound for, um, for labor, which is grand. Uh, and a little bit of uh, overhead on the top as well. Great. So let's put the new friction plate in. Let's put that pressure plate back on and screw it in. Lovely. Okay, uh, we'll put our brand new bearing on. Yeah, then we'll stick the gearbox on. Yeah, we'll put that gearbox on. We don't need a new gearbox. Uh, connecting, 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 connecting. It's a good job I can see straight through the airbox. So that's always useful. Uh, what do we need? We need to put the axles on, don't we? Yes. The axles on. Oh, wait, hang on. What one's the last thing we could have done? Stick the starter motor on. Yeah. Stick that back on. Wish we could bend our head all the way back around here. It'd be fantastic. Right. Great. Now we have to go attack from the sides. Flank attack. And we'll put the axles back on. Yep. And we'll screw that in. Uh, yeah, we might as well stick the wheel back on. Yeah, I don't know which side these tyres. They don't look omnidirectional, so we can stick them on either side. Uh, get, so she gets even wear, I guess. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's stick the axle back on. Yes, seventy percent. That looks fine. Stick the screw in. Stick the wheel back on. There we go. We're flying now. Cooking on gas. Sliding on super lube. Whatever it was, Super Duty, High Lube, or whatever it is. Okay, brilliant. Boom, boom, boom. Hood down. Where's the hood? Hood down. Bam. Job done. Yes. Boom. Big bucks. Okay, we're flying. Next. Who's next to come up to uh, Exile Mechanics? Oh, I don't know. It wasn't a very good name, was it? I'll have to think about that one. Okay. Order seven. Place a car battery and check the alternator. Okay, a Genesis Town, 2006 model. I replaced the battery four days ago, but today I wasn't able to start the car again. Can you check what's going on, please? Yeah. Well, we don't need to. Re if you bought the battery four days ago, then I'm, I'm guessing we just need to recharge it. How's your battery? Let's have a look. Your battery is dead. Um, but we, if it's only four days old, we should be able to. Uh, should be able to recover that. Uh, so your alternator will be. Um, hang on, let's just. Well, let's just change the view again. So we'll get back to here. So your alternator will be. There you go. Oh, we're gonna have to take the um, the, the belt off first. Let's have a look at your alternator. And your alternator is. I don't know. Oh, it won't tell us. Can we take it off then? No. Why not? Why can't we take it off? It's not. Select parts amount. No, 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 no. Um, right. Why? 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 Why can't I disassemble that? Oh, I can. No. Oh, okay. It's just been a bit funny. Okay. So we've got the alternator and we've got the battery. Now, can we repair the alternator? I doubt it. Oh, alternator. There we go. Five percent. 236. Hang on. How much are we getting for this job first? Thousand dollars. Okay, I'm just thinking of me overheads, people. Just thinking of me overheads. So 236 bucks, that's fine. Um, do we have a battery charger anywhere? Here you go. Power up, going into a sports lube heavy duty box. Odd. Switch the radio off. Um, hit the air conditioning. Oh, come on, we must have a battery charger here somewhere. Do we not have a battery charger? Seems silly buying a... Oh my god, look at my electrics. Seems silly buying a whole brand new battery and it's only four days old. It's not going to be a battery failure, is it? 
Ah, oh well, let's buy a new battery. Is there a second hand battery? Do you buy second hand batteries? That sounds very dangerous actually, doesn't it? Yeah, there's none for sale. How much is a battery then? Friend of mine, we spent 200 and. Ah, oh, 350. Well, that's 600 bucks we made. It was, it was going to be somewhere around about 400 pound profit. Ugh. Okay, so let's um, stick the alternator back. Do we repair it back to. Oh, we put it back to 100%. Look at that. We are awesome when it comes to alternate repairs. i just stick the belt back on. Yeah. Belt's on. Fantastic. Um, okay, one more time. And we need to put, stick the battery in. Stick that battery in. Clunk, clunk, click. Pull the hood down. Ka ching. Done. Tick, tick. Repaired. Boom. Okay, we're doing nicely. We're, we're making about 400 bucks per mission at the moment, or per invoice mission. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Right, where are we now? Number eight. Repair the exhaust. Oh, it's a Revington van, 2008 model. My car has become really loud. My muffler is probably damaged. It probably is. 900 bucks. Um, let's stick up on the ramp then and have a look at your exhaust. Uh, right, so let's inspect. 22%. We'll check the whole of the exhaust. The exhaust pipe rear is fine. Middle muffler is knacked. So uh, cat, the, the cat is okay, and exhaust pipe front is fine. There's an exhaust manifold I can't check from here. Right, so we need. Oh God, hang on. Let's try that again. We need. Uh, we probably need a muffler rear and a muffler middle, wasn't it? Wasn't it the middle one as well? Was that one knacked? Yeah, it was. Rear and middle muff la, <laughs> muff la. Right, any spares? I'm I'm thinking my profits now. Here we go, here we go. Exhaust V6, exhaust manifold no, exhaust. Mm. Oh, Mu no, there you go, muffler middle. Two hundred eighty-eight bucks. And another no, V6s. So how much? So that's. 200 and, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, there you go, 288, how much is a brand new one? Um, um, he says, trying to search, here we go, muffler, middle, 300, oh that's the V6 one. Muffler, we need that for 250. And the, oh no, that is the middle one, for three, uh, 350. So it's not going to save us too much money. So it's going to be what three, four, five, six. We're still going to make three hundred bucks. Boom! We might as well buy a brand new one. Get some good credit. Oh, crack my head on that. Okay, so let's uh, disassemble the middle. Oh, hang on. We're not going to have to take the entire exhaust apart. Actually, maybe if we can do it from the back. We'll take that off. I'll take that off. Hey, you see? It's not going to be too bad after all. And I'll take that off. I hope you're keeping hold of all these um, bolts for me. There we go. Right, assemble. I'll stick a brand new one on there. Uh, there you go. I couldn't click that one. Fantasidastic. Yep. Put that back on. It's grand. Ah, oh. we'd be rolling in the box if we could whack all this out in one day, wouldn't we? I'm sure I could if I had the right tools. Um, it's just that I don't. There we go. Brilliant. Exhaust done in record time as well. Catching. Boom. 900 bucks, ours, catching. Right, next, invoice nine. Perform a test drive, repair the steering. The steering feels loose. Could you check it? 
course it could. How much? Sorry, how much was that? Three thousand bucks. Oh yeah. Um. What was I going to do? Uh, show parts condition. Show inventory. Oh, look at all this crap we got on us. Do you want to? S yeah, we'll sell it. Great. Hey, I'm just going to sell this crap. I just real. I saw this earlier, and I thought, well, what is all this crap? And I was wondering if we had to go on the computer, but no, it looks like we can just sell it. Wow. Oh, there's a look at that. We got. 5,200, well, fighting on, let's do this, 5,330 bucks. Wowee! We are flying. Right, let's take this for a uh, drive then. Test the old handling, it's very similar to the last one we drove. Oh, they're listening to All Saints. We must be a big All Saints fan, they're on the radio again. Steering's fine. Talking about. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you know, it, it, it passed. I, it, it wouldn't pass. Right, here we go. Is this going to be like a drunken squid again? Oh my god. It actually drives better than the other one. No, there's nothing wrong with this one at all. This is driving beautifully. Whoa, 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 Let's have a look. Uh, let's get inspector mode on. We'll check all the suspension because obviously loose suspension or damaged suspension can cause um, steering problems as well or handling problems, should I say? Uh, that looks fine. That's fine. Oh, I can't check pretty much anything else from down here. Which is oh, I can check the exhaust, which is great. Uh, okay. Up top was not the way to do it. Okay. Let's drop her down. I'll go in from the top. We'll probably need to go in from the side. Right, let's have a look around. Bend our head round. Crane our neck. Inspector gadget style. And... Uh, just going to check all the suspension settings, really. I'm going to have to go in from the side. I can't, I can't get in. Right, let's get the wheel off. It seems like any mechanical job entails taking the wheel off. That, that seems it. Everything, doesn't it? Right, let's take at the tie rods. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Your power steering rack is um, in knacked condition. Um, but we'll, have, we'll check everything else as well while we're here. Um, okay. Let's just come around this side. Oh, how much is a power steering rack? I, that sounds expensive to me. I don't know. But, for, well, it is a three grand job, isn't it? So, yeah. Oh, wow. Might be cheap, cheaper to scrap the car, to be honest with you. Oh, it's, it's the suspension rock. It's the um, power steering rack, isn't it? Right, how the heck do we get that off? So, we'd, I take it we need to dismantle the whole, the whole thing, don't we? Um... Wow, hang on. No, we're in assemble mode. I don't want to be in assemble mode. I want to be in, in there, and I want to be in disassemble mode. There we go. That's right. Take that off. Get that out. And get this out. Then we get your power steering rack out somehow. Can we? Can we? Do I have to do that from the other side as well? I probably have to do that from the other side. Good job. I took the wheel off, isn't it? Yes, you thought, oh, what are you doing taking the wheel off? No, I knew what I was doing. He says. Fully confident that you're going to believe him. Right. Let's just hang in there now. Do I do I have to come in from the um, the top? Or do I have to lift it up and pick it up? Like a crazy man. Um, yeah, I can't actually see it. 
great. Uh, there it is. Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to lift it up. Good God. You little troublesome rack, you. Come here. Right. I doubt we can repair a steering rack, but let's have a look. No, is the answer. Right. So how how the heck? I, this is gonna be. What do you reckon? It's going to be cost absolute fortune. A steering rack. A steering rack. Um, axles. Um, blah 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 blah. In a tie rod. There we go. Power steering rack. Fifteen hundred bucks. Is there a second hand one? Uh, power steering rack. 1100. That's the one. We're going to stick that on there. 47%, but that's fine. It's a lot better than the one they stuck in. Right. We. Yep, la. Right. And what we need to do is go green. Stick that one in there. Yes. And then I'm going to have to drop it and come in from the side. Right. So we'll stick that back on. Tie rod in the tie rod. It doesn't matter, I don't think. In this case, uh, one of those doesn't matter. Excellent. Stick the wheel back on. Brand new wheels almost. Just been slightly worn in. Excellent. Uh, stick that on. Yep. Stick that on. Yep. Excellent. A wheel on. Five bolts. And another, well, just over 1500 bucks. Wow. We are whizzing along. Repair the steering. I have. I have. Oh. You're kidding me. It's not accepting it. Ah, uh, how? Do you know what? It's perfectly acceptable to put reconditioned parts on. I guess it's not quite reconditioned; it's, it's second hand. But there's nothing wrong with putting second hand parts on it. That, although I guess he's pla he's paid three grand, doesn't he? He's paid the premium for the new part. Um, I guess if we'd have asked him, we give him a phone call, say, "Do you want a second hand part?" You know, you probably got a few good years out of it. If you go steady. Oh. oh, well, we'll get practice at this. We'll, we'll know how to do this. Right, let's go and buy a, a big one then. So what's the point of having used parts if you can't buy and use them? Oh, that's, that's annoyed me, that has. Wasting good money. Right, let's disassemble. Let's reassemble. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You cheating game. I don't know. They just saw me gloating about how well I was doing financially and they're just ah, out to sting me. Right, put one of those on. But you know what? If I, might, if I start seeing really nice bits of, um, you know, like tie rods or something, you know, in 95% plus, I might start seeing if I can buy them online second hand and then swapping them out and keeping the ones which are 95% which I pinch off the cars for any jobs that come in future yeah we can become a right shady old businessman can we although you know my, my moral fiber probably wouldn't let me to do let me do that to be honest with you uh, I'm a very very honest guy any anyone who knows me will We'll, um, we'll say differently. <laughs> right, is, are you happy now? You fine. Well, hang on. How much can we get for that that second hand bit? Um, Five hundred. Wow, we just lost about six hundred quid more than we needed to. Then get it out of my sight. Take it away. Get away. Get away with you. Okay, last one. What do you reckon?
Replace a fuel pump for invoice number 10. I was driving on fumes and I think I've overheated my fuel pump. Can you replace it please for 600 bucks? Yes. Uh, can we not repair it? We could probably repair it to be honest with you. Fuel pump, fuel pump. Fuel pump will be on the, um, the fuel tank, won't it? So that'll be near the fuel tank at the back. That'll be it. Let's have a look at it, shall we? That's the fuel filter, you muppet. You muppet! Where is the... Where is the... Ah, what's that? Fuel tank. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, there we go. I figured out how to zoom away from it. Um, fuel filter... Where the hell is the fuel pump then? Hmm. Okay, maybe it's. No, the fuel pump is usually. is usually not a million miles away because obviously it's got pump fuel. <laughs> uh, Stating the bloody obvious. Okie dokie. Because normally you can access the fuel thing through the. taking the rear seat out. Uh, am I being stupid? There's every possibility I am being stupid. What was what is it was fuel fuel pump, yeah. Okay. Uh why the heck's the fuel pump? No, I I've got I had to be right. It's gotta be in the back here somewhere, isn't it? Um, logically, so the fuel line will run from the fuel tank to the engine, so it's got to be, and it, you know, it'll go from the fuel filter, it'll be sucked up through the tank into the filter into the by the pump. So the pump has got to be right. Hang on, let's have a quick check. What does the fuel pump look like in this, and then we can work backwards from there. If in doubt find the stuff that you know or you can find out about and then work backwards fuel filter fuel pump looks like that okay we'll probably need one anyway so I'll buy that um, do you know what I reckon that is the fuel pump that is the, that is the freaking fuel pump I was right god damn it um, so hang on why, why won't it allow us to Do we need to remove the fuel filter? I don't understand why we would need to remove the fuel filter, but let's remove the fuel filter. Does that make any better? No, can we just remove it then? No, we can't. Do we need to drop it and open... Oh, I don't know. No, that's not it. Seri they don't expect me to take the entire fuel tank off, do they? No. Okay, that would have been silly. Uh, disassemble that. There we go. You just got it. Arch your head round at a really weird angle. Right, let's um, stick a new new one in. Oh yeah, one percent. Look at that. Oh, that's awful. He well and truly fried that. It's probably got some crud in from the engine. But we need to play, put the filter back on. Just slots in. Brilliant. Um, I think that's all, isn't it? Bish bash bosh. Jobs a good un. Happy. Happy. 600 bucks, we made a couple hundred bucks out of that. Yes, boom. So there we go, guys. That has been Car Mechanic Simulator Episode 2. We've done quite a bit of, a bit of good work today, actually. And let's just... Um, oh, we've got a gearbox replacement on a Revington Wind 2010 model. I, le <laughs> I lent my wife the car for a couple of days and the gearbox has given up. Could you replace it, please? 
Typical man. Typical man. Ah. Uh. Okay, hang on. Replace parts you will return if you request them when you, or when the repairs are ordered. Uh, you may inspect these parts, but must be returned to the manufacturer. Replace parts requested by the customer. No. That's okay. Replace the gearbox. Right. Okay. Wow. It's a nice car as well. It's a nice motor. Uh, and we got to repair, repair the gearbox on this one. So we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Any comments and suggestions, please leave below. And I always do enjoy reading them. And join me next time for more Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. So I'll see you then. Thank you.